appreciate his holy name. If he can sing a new song, he can sing. If he can make a joyful noise to him, you are free. For God to spare you alive. For God to give you that grace to see the last day in this month of December. And we are crossing over to the greater year. Why don't you just wave him? Why don't you just wave your hands and say, Daddy, thank you. Can I hear some voice and say, Jesus, thank you. Can I hear some voice and say, Jesus, thank you. And I hear some voice and say, Jesus, thank you. It's by your grace and mercy. Father, I will bless your holy name. You are worthy to be praised. I will worship you forever. I will love you forever because this God is too good. I will worship you forever. I will love you forever because this God is too good. Can you join me and say, I will love you, say, I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is the Oh, my God. 
let us celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let us open to page 19 of our book of common prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us worship God. As we approach our holy God, we realize that we have sinned and come short of his glory. Let us humbly confess our sins to him, kneeling and saying together. O oh God, our righteous George and merciful Father, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. We acknowledge that we are responsible for our sinfulness. Have mercy upon us, we pray you, and forgive us by the love which you have shown to us in Jesus Christ, who for our sakes died and rose again. Give us true repentance by the power of your Holy Spirit, and enable us to forsake our evil ways and strive in newness of life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto us pardon and remission of all our sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Recognizing that God has forgiven us because Jesus, the Lamb of God, has died for us, let us adore him, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits upon the throne, and to the Lamb. Amen. Blessing and honor and good and power, even, and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. You have dealt well with your servants, O Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord. Your word is a lamp to our feet. Shall we all rise as we take the psalm on page two of our program? Psalm 90 on page two of our program. We'll read alternatively. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. You turn us back to dust and say, turn back, you mortals. You sweep them away. They are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. For we are consumed by your anger. By your wrath, we are overwhelmed. For all our days pass away under your wrath. Our years Come to an end like a sigh. Who considers the power of your anger? Your wrath is as great as the fear that is due you. Turn, O Lord, how long? Have compassion on your servants. Make us glad as many days as you have afflicted us and as many years as we have seen evil. We'll take the last verse together. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and prosper us the works of our hands. Oh, prosper the work of our hands.
Let's be seated for the reading. First lesson for this service is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, beginning at verse 17. Isaiah 65, we commence the reading from verse 17. See, I create new heavens and new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind, but be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. For I will create Jerusalem to be a delight and its people a joy. I will rejoice over Jerusalem and take delight in my people. The sound of weeping and of crying will be heard in it no more. Never again will there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not live out his years. The one who dies at a hundred will be taught a mere child. The one who fails to reach a hundred will be considered accursed. They will build houses and dwell in them. They will plant vineyards and eat their fruit. No longer will they build houses and others live in them, or plant and others eat. For as the days of a tree, so will be the days of my people. My chosen ones will long enjoy the work of their hands. They will not labor in vain, nor will they be a children doomed to misfortune. For they will be a people blessed by the Lord. They and their descendants with them. Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. The wolves and the lamb will feed together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox, and dust will be the serpent's food. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountains, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. The second Bible reading for this service is taken from Revelation chapter 21, 
beginning at the first verse. Revelation 21 from verse 1. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the whole order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. This is the word of the Lord. Shall we all rise? As we affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, never. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O oh Lord, show your mercy upon us. O oh Lord, guide and defend our rulers. And do your ministers with righteousness. O oh Lord, save your people. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord. O oh God, make clean our hearts within us. Almighty God, you have given us your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him and to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that we, who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the same Spirit, one God, now and forever. O God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments and all just works, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that 
free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray. And in your mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. At this time, the band will lead us as we give our offering to God, an offering of appreciation and thanksgiving for year 2021. For all his mercies, all his goodness, all his blessings upon us. Hallelujah for the Lord that God in your mighty Hallelujah for the Lord that God in your mighty Hallelujah.
to be in God's presence this evening. Just lift your hands and begin to worship him. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to
And so, Heavenly Father, indeed, you are so good to us. We want to appreciate you because there is none like you. And that is why we have gathered tonight to appreciate you for all you've done for us in 2021. And so, my dear Father, we are saying, let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we listen to your word briefly, we ask, O oh God, that you speak to our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. You speak to our situations in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray you break every yoke in the name of Jesus. That at the end, your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Please sit back. I would like to pray this prayer for every one of us. I want you to listen. Now, God is a master of using situations to move a man to his prophecy. Now, Joseph had a dream where the 11 brothers and the father bowed before him. That is a prophecy. And when he told them they hated him, now they sold him into slavery. From slavery, he was moved into prison. And from prison, he fulfilled prophecy. I raise my voice in prophecy tonight, and I decree upon you that situation you are passing through, God will use it to move you to your prophecy in 2022. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not hearing you. I say God will use that situation to move you to your prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, every delayed prophecy of yours that has failed to manifest in 2021, they will manifest in 2022 in the name of Jesus Christ. They will manifest in the name of Jesus. Briefly, we are going to look on Thanksgiving because God has done a lot for us this year. I would like to take my test from First Chronicle chapter 16, verse 34. It says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. In Ephesians chapter 5, 18 to 20, it says, And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Holy Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart, giving thanks always and for everything to God, the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, without any iota of doubt, God has been so good to every one of us. Many of your colleagues, they've died. Many are in the hospital as I am talking to you. Many are orphans, as I am talking to you. Many that are, that are in their homes, they could not even make it in the presence of God tonight. But look at you, you are sound and healthy. Indeed, God has been faithful to us. May his name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. He has never ceased to be faithful and kind. If God had not been on our side, the devil would have destroyed us. Mm. The devil would have, you know, frustrated us. But thank God for Jehovah. Tonight is a time for remembrance. Tonight is a time to remember God's faithfulness and make thanksgiving our lifestyle. Now, thanksgiving is an indispensable activity for every child of God. It is non-negotiable. It is not debatable. If you really want God to do the unthinkable in your life, you must learn to give him thanks. Now, God created everything in Genesis chapter 1, but he did not create thanks for himself. He made it a point of duty for you and I to appreciate him for all he has done for us. He cannot worship himself. If you read Revelation, it's discovered that the 24 elders in heaven, they always bow down and worship him. 
And when you worship God, God is moved to show you mercy in all ramification. I pray this evening that we'll give God thanks and God will look at 2022 and will satisfy us with all our desires in the name of Jesus Christ. Thanksgiving is not a principle, but it is a mystery that always works. The more you thank him, the more he do the miraculous in your life. Luke chapter 17, Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. He reached the border between Galilee and Samaria, and as he entered a village, ten lepers stood at a distance, crying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And Jesus looked at them and said, go and show yourself to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed of their leprosy. Now, the reason why Jesus told them is that the local priests, they did not only perform the function of leading, you know, service on each Sabbath day, but they also attend to issues concerning health. Now, if a person was healed miraculously of leprosy, it is the duty of the priest to investigate, to inspect the body. One, test for complete removal of the disease and announce the person to be healed. And that was why Jesus said, go and show yourself to the priest so that the priest will announce them that they are healed. But one of them looked at himself and saw that he was healed. He ran to Jesus, fell at his feet, and worshipped him. He appreciated Jesus for what he has done. And Jesus looked at him and said, Didn't I heal ten men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? Listen, God demands us to worship him. Look at the statement he's made. To give glory to God. That is, God is waiting for you to appreciate him. To give him all the glory. And he told that man, say, arise, go. Your faith has made you whole. Listen, thanksgiving opens door for other hidden blessings. When you worship God, when you thank God, you may think that all is well. But there are hidden blessings that your worship, your thanksgiving will open for you. What are the benefits of thanksgiving? Number one, it glorifies God. Thanksgiving helps us realize that all we have come, not because of us, but from God. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15 says, And as God's grace reaches more and more people, there will be great thanksgiving. And God will receive more and more glory. Number two benefits is that it helps us see God. It opens our spiritual eyes. The more we thank him, the more we see him walking around us. It helps us to sense God's presence, to see his personal care and his perfect timing. Number three, thanksgiving puts us in God's way. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Number four, it brings peace to us. It helps us to see God's hand, that God's hand is all over our circumstances, thereby giving us supernatural peace. And number five, and when you read Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, it says, Do not be anxious about nothing. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. When you thank God, God releases peace in your life. Hallelujah. Number five, it brings contentment. Be thankful to God is the key to contentment. You are happy that whatever God gives to you, you are contented with it. And when you appreciate God the more, he will do more for you. Number six, it deepens.
happens our faith. Keeping record of God's faithfulness is a faith boost when we face new difficulty. It increases our faith. When you thank God for what he has done for you, and when you are faced with new difficulty, it gives you faith that the God that has delivered you from that one will also deliver you. And because you have gone to thank God ahead of what he has done, the past one he has done for you, it gives you confidence that God is with you in that situation. Hallelujah. Number seven, it leads to joy. The overflow of thanksgiving is joy. The gateway for joy is realizing God's abundant goodness and give him thanks. Psalm chapter 126, 1 to 3 says, When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. And number eight, thanksgiving is a testimony. Hallelujah. It's a testimony. When we are thankful to God, God openly acknowledge what he has done for us. He proclaimed a caring God to a world around us. That is, when you tell people what God has done for you, you are proclaiming God that God is a caring father. That God can do the impossible in your life. And number nine is that thanksgiving is a door that ushers you into God's blessing. Through thanksgiving, lost glory are restored. Look at the foolish, the, you know, the, the foolish man. He harvested all that he has gotten from his farmland. And he said, oh, my soul, rejoice. And God took his life. Why? He failed to thank God. He failed to thank God for what God has done for him. And number 10, thanksgiving is a superpower. It enables us to see past our experiences and embrace how God is moving. No wonder thankful people, they draw strength from thanksgiving. And at the same time, empower others with their perspective as well. When you thank God and those around you see what God has done for you, it motivates the people around you to thank him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, today also is a time to remember our mistakes and learn from them in 2021. I don't know whatever mistakes you have you know, made in 2021. Please, today is a day or this night, you look at it and learn from them. It's a time for repentance, a time to walk a new path, a way closer than the kingdom of God. It is a time to rededicate ourselves to God. What is rededication? It simply means a way to deliberately reject sin and renew a love for Christ. You know, the disciples of Christ, they went through this process when they saw the risen Christ. Hallelujah. Their half-hearted devotion turned into a desire to pour out their life for his service. And so, this year, I pray for you, or I encourage you, that you rededicate your life to God if you really want to enjoy divine satisfaction next year. I pray God will give us the grace to do so in the name of Jesus Christ. Lastly, tonight is a time for dreaming, for envisioning. That is, we must be purpose-driven. Listen, God created us on purpose, for a purpose and with a purpose. I said, God created us on purpose, for a purpose and with a purpose. Purpose declares your existence, why you exist. It captures the heart of why you are on earth and why Jesus died for you. Purpose, define your life, not in terms of what you think, but what God thinks. And lastly, it anchors your life in the character and call of God. It is my prayer that as we cross over to 2022, I pray for you. God will satisfy you with good health in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that God will satisfy you with his goodness in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you 
He will satisfy you with his long life in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. As you enter into the year 2022, he will decorate you with his favor in the name of Jesus Christ. And he will protect you from all your enemies in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. That is lukewarm. Praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. At this time, we will go into a session of high praise and worship to God Almighty as we will invite the band to lead us in a session of high praise and thanksgiving to God. Oloru to Tobi Oloru ba Baga Oloru to Tobi Oloru ba Aye o ba Oh, I love you too. I love you too. 
you are standing, I have to do something. I want you to turn and see you are making a way for yourself. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? Now, are you ready now? Tell me I say, I go to follow you the go. Jesus is one Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh,
your hands this night to this great, great God. He's a great, great God. He's a great, great God. He's a great, great God. All I know. Yes, Lord. He's a great, Great God, is a great, great God. Is a great, great God. All I know, all I know, is a great, great God. Is a great, great God. Is a great. Worship him, the one that 
created the heavens and the earth the almighty god jehovah el shaddai the beginning and the end the alpha and omega the owner of life the giver of life the sustainer of life the preserver of life the one who gives meaning to life let us bless his name this night let us worship him let us worship him let us adore him he's worthy to be praised he's worthy to be honored he's worthy to be worshipped he's worthy to be adored there is no like unto him there is no like unto him mighty in all his ways wonderful in all his ways gracious in all his ways you are God from beginning to the end there's no place for you man yes you are God all by yourself you are God can take his place no one can dethrone him he's not elected into office and he cannot be elected out of office he's the one that holds your life in his hands he's the one that determines your today your tomorrow and years to come let us bless his name let us appreciate him let us appreciate him wonderful God Marvelous Jehovah, excellent God, beautiful in all his ways. Give thanks to God for all your travels this year, for your going out, for your coming in. Bless the name of the Lord this night, like the psalmist said in Psalm 103. From verse 1, he said, Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities? Oh God, thank God tonight for forgiving you all your iniquities all your transgressions for forgiving your children their iniquities and their transgressions their shortcomings their mistakes their sins thank god this morning this night give him thanks who heal all your diseases the god that heal all your diseases some of you, some of us, we are sick this year. Some of us, we are sick this year. On the sick bed, you were afraid. You were afraid. Thinking that something worse is going to happen. But here you are this night. Because God healed all your diseases. He healed all your diseases. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord who healed all your diseases. The God who redeemed, who redeemed your soul, who redeemed your life from destruction. The God who redeemed your life, your soul from destruction by the mercies of God. You are alive today. 
because he redeemed you from destruction. He did not allow you to go to the grave. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. He redeemed your life from destruction. He redeemed the life of your children from destruction. He crowned you with his loving kindness and tender mercies. He said he satisfied your mouth with good things. The God who provided for all your needs. The God who fed you and your household in 2021. Give thanks to this God. He made ways for you. In the midst of difficulties and challenges, He made ways for you. He made ways for you. He made ways for you. Are you a student? He made ways for you. For you to be successful in your exams. He gave you understanding so that you can pass your exams. He gave you retentive memory. He gave you the ability to recall everything you have read, everything you have been taught, so that you can have success. Bless his name. The word of God says that he renewed. He renewed your life. He renewed you like egos. He renewed you. He renewed your life. He renewed your strength like the egos. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank God for the church. Thank God for the Anglican communion. Thank God for the church of Nigeria. Thank God for the Diocese of Lagos. Thank God for Victoria Island Adikiri. Thank God for Church of the Resurrection. 1004 Estate, Victoria Island. Thank God for His grace, for His mercy, for His covering. Thank God for many answered prayers in the course of this year. Thank God for many battles that God fought for us. Thank God for how He assisted us. And how he blessed us. Give thanks to God. On behalf of the church. Thank God for our nation Nigeria. That up to now we are still together as a nation. In spite of all us. In spite of all the terrible, terrible happening in the nation this year. Thank God for his grace. For upholding Nigeria as a nation as a nation thank God for his many blessed goodness thank God for his provisions thank God for his protection over you thank God for his blessings upon your family thank God for your career and for your business for what the Lord has done and what the Lord is doing In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to thank God for the grace to know him and to worship him. Thank God for the privilege to worship him this year and to serve him. Thank God. I've said it here before. There was a time I was complaining to God in one of the parishes where I was. And God said, have you thanked me? For the privilege to worship me. That day I went before the altar and I lied and I said, God, thank you for the privilege to worship you. Thank God. So it is a privilege to worship God. It is a privilege to be called the son of God, the daughter of God. So thank God for the privilege to worship him this year. For the grace to stand in his holy sanctuary. Bless the name of the Lord.
in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray at this time in humility if you want to kneel down you can kneel down and just talk to God that God should have mercy upon us as individuals as a church as a family just ask God to have mercy have mercy upon you upon your family upon your household Lord have mercy upon me have mercy upon me as an individual have mercy upon my family for every negligence for every sin for every transgression sins of omission and commission for the things that we ought to do and we fail to do ask God for mercy let your mercy O oh Lord come upon us as a people ask God for mercy upon the church the church of resurrection ask for mercy upon the church worldwide in not understanding the vision and the mission of God in not carrying out the purpose of God ask God for mercy upon the church ask God for mercy upon our nation Nigeria for all the senseless killing and the shedding of blood for the destruction of lives and property for kidnappings for destroying homes and families ask God for mercy mercy upon our leaders mercy upon the lead and every citizen of this nation pray that the blood of Jesus will speak on our behalf the blood that speak at better things we speak on behalf of Nigeria we speak on behalf of the church we speak on behalf of the Diocese of Lagos we speak on behalf of the church of the resurrection 1004 the blood of Jesus we speak on behalf of every family in this church and every member of our family the blood of Jesus we speak on behalf of every man and every woman every boy and every girl every society every group every ministry in this church that the blood of Jesus will speak on our behalf Lord have mercy upon us blot out our transgressions forgive our iniquities and let it be well with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ at this time let us begin to pray talk to God that as you cross over into year 2022 you are in his presence that you renounce sin and today by his mercy you put away every garment of sin pray that the garment of sin will not journey with you into 2022 talk to God God sin shall not have dominion over me my spirit is renewed my body is renewed I shall live in victory over every form of ungodliness begin to talk to God 
I will daily dwell in your presence and be a carrier of your presence wherever I go in the new year. Holy Spirit, you will reign in me and you will order my thoughts in the mighty name of Jesus. Talk to God today and say, Lord, I lay aside every garment of sickness and diseases. They shall not go into 2022 with me. I lay aside every garment of sickness, every garment of diseases, because according to Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. I will dwell in health from now on. Begin to talk to God. Make this declaration upon yourself. My family shall dwell in health. Lord, I receive grace to walk in the path of righteousness. I receive grace to walk in the path of righteousness and in the beauty of your holiness. Every unfavorable door that sin had opened in my life I command them to be closed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every ungodly covenant in operation in my life or my family, I renounce them today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for what you did in my career, for what you did at the place of my work, for what you did in my business, for what you did in the studies of my children or in my study in this year 2021. Lord, I am believing you for greater exploits in 2022. I am believing you for divine success. I am believing you for breakthroughs. I am believing you for outstanding performance. I am believing you for profit. For birthday harvest in 2022. I am believing you for success. And for divine progress in 2022. Lord, you will give me the power to prosper and to make wealth according to your word in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. He said, I am the one that gives you power to make wealth. Talk to God, give me power to make wealth. Give me power to prosper in everything that I lay my hand upon. Pray that the banner of God will be over your family as you enter into the new year. That the banner of God will be over your family wherever they are under heaven. Pray that grace will speak on your behalf and on behalf of your entire household. That grace will speak. Ecclesiastes 9, 11 says that the race is not to the swift. He said the battle is not to the strong. He said wet, bread, 
is not to the wise and wealth is not to the discerning. He said time and chance happen to them all. Our God is the God that changes times and season. Pray that by the grace of God, favorable times and seasons shall be the portion of your family in 2022. He is the God that rules over the affairs of men. Pray that God will rule over your affairs in your 2022. He will rule over the affairs of your family. He will rule over the affairs of your business. He will rule over the affairs of your Christian life. That your journey with God will be very smooth and profitable. Pray concerning all your travels in 2022 that you will continue to enjoy angelic presence. Any journey that God has not approved upon, tell God that God, I will not embark on any journey that you have not approved. Lord, a day you don't want me to go out of my house. Make it impossible for me to step out. Any business that will not prosper, that will not be to my benefit, and to the glory of your name. Lord, I will not put my hand in it in 2022. Pray to God, no member of your household shall journey into disaster. God, I will not be a victim of any evil. No member of my family shall be a victim of any evil. The wickedness of the wicked shall not prosper against me or any member of my family. Your glory shall radiate in my family. Your glory shall radiate in my home. Your glory shall radiate in my life. Whether at work or at home, your glory will shine forth in my life. I will walk in light and not in darkness. Pray that the church of God will prosper in evangelism, in soul winning, and in mission. Pray that the church will prosper spiritually and will prosper numerically and will prosper financially. Pray that the presence of God will always be with us as we gather together to worship in this place from time to time. Pray that the estate 1,004 estates shall enjoy peace and the glory of God will overshadow the estate. The glory of God will overshadow the transit village. The glory of God will overshadow Lagos. 
And of course, the entire nation pray that peace will reign. Pray that God will continue to show forth his glory and his beauty in Church of the Resurrection 1004, Victoria Island. Pray for every parishioner. For divine breakthroughs in every area of life. Pray for our bishop and our bishop, the, right, the most reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Olumakaye, and pray for the wife, Professor Mrs. Motunraya Olumakaye, and the entire family, and pray that the work of God will prosper in their hands, and they will take this diocese and this province to a greater height. Pray that renewed strength will be their portion. Pray for our primate, Henry Utukuba, that God will continue to uphold him and his household and bless his ministry in the church of Nigeria. At this time, as we move very, very close to 2022, what is it that you want to ask God? What is it that you want to talk to him about? He answers prayers. He said, call upon me and I will hear Talk to God. Just about five, four minutes. And you are crossing over into the new year. God can fix that issue. God can solve that problem. God can open that door. God can bring that challenge to an end. God can heal that disease and that sickness. God can give you that breakthrough at the place of your work. God can open that door of upliftment. God can visit your business and turn it around. God can bring grace upon your career, upon your education. God can open that womb that seems to be locked. God can visit that family with children. God can restore peace in that home. God can bring to an end that spirit of rebellion in the family. He can. He can pay that debt that you are owing. God can lift that burden that is resting upon your head. He can take away that reproach. He can take away that shame. God can bring that struggle to an end. God can give you a new beginning. He can open a fresh chapter in your life. He can. He can. He can. He can do it. God can do it. He can close that chapter of sorrow and sadness and pain. Limo se librata. He can close that chapter. He can close that door of fruitless struggle. He can. He can make life to be meaningful. 
He can bring joy back to your life and to your home. He can restore peace. He can make his light to shine in the place of darkness. Rebo se maribo shetelikasa. He can do it. He can. Just one minute. Just one minute. He can rewrite your story. Your agony can come to an end. Your pain, he can handle. Yes, he can. He can. Oh my God, he can. Oh Lord, he can do it. He can, he can. He can, he can, he can. And he's going to do it. This is This is Twelve midnight. Faithful God, oh, faithful God, faithful God, oh, faithful God, only you deserve the glory. In my life, only you deserve the glory. Oh, faithful God, one more time. Faithful God, oh, faithful God. The glory in our life. Oh, you I want you to begin to say a very assuring, resounding Amen. As I make this prophetic declaration, you have come into year 2022, our year of divine satisfaction. Jeremiah 31 25 says, For I fully satisfy the weary soul, and I replenish every languishing and all sorrowful person. The Lord will fully satisfy you with his goodness in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verse 16 says, With long life will I satisfy him and I will show him my salvation. In 2022, your life will not be swallowed in the name of Jesus. No member of your family shall die in the name of Jesus. You will see the end of this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will add life to your years. And he will add years to your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this new year, the Lord will go ahead of you. To prepare the way for you. To clear the way for you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will be with you. All through this year. In the name of Jesus. You will enjoy divine presence. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will never be forsaken. Your family will not be forsaken. In the name of Jesus. The 
Lord will crown your years with goodness in the name of Jesus. Your pathway shall overflow with prosperity and blessing in the name of Jesus. The Lord shall give you peace. The Lord shall give you joy. The Lord shall give you hope in the mighty name of Jesus. Your year shall be full of God's blessings in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, Every tongue that rises against you in judgment, they are condemned. This year, every tongue that rises against you, they are condemned in the name of Jesus. Every accuser of your destiny and the destinies of your children, they are silenced forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Every counsel of the wicked concerning you shall be turned to foolishness in the name of Jesus. No incantation shall prosper against you. No evil declaration shall prosper against you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we annul every evil decree that has been spoken ahead of you in this year. In the name of Jesus, no evil decision shall stand against you in Jesus' name. Your effort this year will be rewarded. Your effort will be rewarded. Your labor will prosper. In the name of Jesus. Your labor shall not be in vain. You will eat the fruit of your labor. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the grace of God. Your year. Your year. And the years of your children. Shall be noted for greatness. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everything. That the canker worm has destroyed. The years he has eaten up. God is going to bring full restoration. In the name of Jesus. God will reveal to you. Opportunities to prosper. Opportunity to make good success. In the mighty name of Jesus. The light of your family. Will never be put off. In the mighty name of Jesus. The glory of your life. The glory of your family will shine brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus. The Lord will renew your strength in the name of Jesus. Your heart will not fail you in the name of Jesus. You will not be missing from the sanctuary of the people of God in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be missing from the gathering of your family in the name of Jesus. You will not be mourned in the name of Jesus. Our God is the Alpha and Omega. He has brought you to the beginning of this year. He will carry you to the very end. In the name of Jesus. Every evil gathering against you or your family is scattered in the name of Jesus. Every arrow, whether of sickness or of diseases or of failure, or of death that is targeted at you they shall miss their target in the name of Jesus God will visit your life this year God will visit your marriage God will visit your career God will visit your business in the name of Jesus light will shine in place of darkness in the name of Jesus I see the garment the garment of glory upon your life in the name of Jesus. I see the garment of shame being taken away and being replaced with the garment of honor, with the garment of beauty in the name of Jesus. I see divine lifting, divine lifting from obscurity to fame in the mighty name of Jesus. I see divine announcement and proclamation of your household in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Every grave, every untimely grave, dark, because
because of anyone in this church we fill it up with the blood of jesus we cover that grave with the blood of jesus we cover that grave with the blood of jesus there shall be no untimely death in the name of jesus the covenant of life and peace of the most high god upon this church is renewed in the name of jesus you shall not suffer any miscarriage of god's blessing in the mighty name of jesus every agent assigned to monitor your life for evil purpose for evil purpose they are paralyzed in the name of jesus they are paralyzed in the name of jesus i command every stream every fountain supplying the water of bitterness the water of sadness into your life or family i command them to dry up in the name of jesus you will not eat the fruit of bitterness in the name of jesus you will not eat the bread of sorrow you will not drink the water of affliction in the mighty name of jesus contrary wind of life will not blow upon your family in the name of jesus grace will multiply unto you this year and beyond in the mighty name of jesus you are highly favored you are highly favored you are highly favored see all arrows shall go from strength to strength church of the resurrection shall go from strength to strength church of the resurrection shall prosper all and prosperity in the name of jesus church of resurrection shall enjoy divine health in the name of jesus church of resurrection shall flourish in every goodness in the name of jesus the light of god we shine upon us the beauty of god we feel our lives in the name of jesus the presence of god shall daily tabernacle with us as we gather in the mighty name of jesus the lord we daily honor our worship in the mighty name of jesus every evil altar standing against the altar of god every evil throne every secret evil altar we destroy in the mighty name of jesus we destroy in the mighty name of jesus the altar of the lord we defend you the altar of the lord we protect you in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus every ungodly covenant in oppression is revoked in the name of jesus christ you will walk in dominion coro will walk in dominion your family will walk in dominion in the name of jesus the dozens of lagos will walk in dominion the church of nigeria will walk in dominion in the mighty name of jesus nigeria shall be set free 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 god will intervene in our matter and it shall be well with us it shall be well with us glory be to god honor be to god glory be to god praise be to god for in jesus mighty name we pray and the church shall say and the church shall say and the church shall say hallelujah 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 amen we shall take the tedium
Praise the Lord. Just before the benediction, on behalf of all of us and in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, please sit. We appreciate your coming and your attending of this crossover service. The sanctuary of the Most High God is the best place to be right now. And we appreciate your coming. And for those who were not able to come, people that are within or outside the country that also follow this service and worship from home, we pray that God will bless all of us together in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank the choir. We want to thank the organist. We want to thank the band. We want to thank members of the Guild of Third, the Sextains, and every worker. We want to appreciate all of you, the media. We thank you. We appreciate you. The Lord will continue to honor you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank the clergy wives. The Lord God will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. We want to say that later today, we'll be having a New Year's service, communion service, the first communion for the year at 10 a.m. Please, we want to see you and we want to see you come to this altar to receive the first communion of the year. The Lord will bless you specially and the Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Just as we finish the service, we want us to pass through the western door, the western door, and uh, there's going to be some little firework at the other end, and we want us to see it before we start to go. Like we have prayed, the presence of the Lord will journey with you all through this year, and it shall always be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Then on Sunday, our services will be normal by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Gracious Redeemer, we thank you for the privilege to bring this offering before you. Our last offering for 2021. We are very grateful to you for all that you did for us in that year and for much more that you are going to do for us in this year. Father, we pray that through these offerings, greater doors will be opened unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. We will experience uncommon prosperity and uncommon breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, because we have given unto you, ancient of days, our resources will not be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. Our lives will prosper to the glory of your name. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will bless all who have, who have given unto you and those who will even give through money transfer. Bless each and every one of us and continue to use us for the expansion of your kingdom. Thank you, mighty Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Unto God's gracious mercy and protection we commit you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and grant you peace. And may the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with all of us now and forevermore. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen. To God be the glory, great things he had done.
Precious Father, we thank you for the privilege to be in your sanctuary and for the grace to see the beginning of another year. Lord, as we go into the world, we go in your power, we will walk in your victory, we will walk in dominion. It shall be well with us. We will continue to be of service to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Lord be with you. Let us bless them. On behalf of the entire clergy, we say Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And many, many, many happy returns in the mighty name of Jesus.